Hello, welcome to another training session for your Stratify Pro certification program. Today we're going to talk about strategic planning and all of the things that you could do in the strategic plan. The first thing we'll cover are viewpoints. So let's just hop right in here. This is the groups and plans page. I had gone ahead and created a new plan that's empty called company strategic plan. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and that's gonna bring you into what everybody will see when you first create a strategic plan. This strategic plan comes by default with these viewpoints. Following a balanced scorecard kind of model, we came up with what balanced scorecard calls perspectives, we call viewpoints. And a viewpoint is basically a focus area. It's a collection, it, it's basically a focus area of things that you can collect different goals that pertain to that focus area. And we'll cover that as we go through the strategic planning sections here. So these come by default with these, with these viewpoints. You can go ahead and delete this if you don't like them or change them at any time by clicking on these three dots here. You can delete from plan and this will be gone. You can look at the dashboard. We'll cover that another time. Or you can edit it. So if you don't like the name, you click on edit, change the name to whatever you want here. I'm not gonna, hit, gonna do that, but you can also add a description and so forth. The other thing you could do is you can add a new viewpoint. Say you wanted a fifth one or a sixth one or as many as you want. You click this little box here, down will come, add a new viewpoint. You could do it right here on the, on the page, new viewpoint and it will save it and become part of your viewpoints. Again, these are focus areas. The other thing that the platform allows you to do is actually share an existing viewpoint. So I've got all of these viewpoints here. Let me see if there's one I wanna share out there. I've got a few here, sustainability, innovation, and so forth that I can pull into my plan if I wanted to reuse one that's out there already. And what that allows me to do is now I'm creating a a complete package of, of where uh, an, uh, an identification of where all where a single viewpoint is, is used across multiple plans. So if I go ahead and click on innovation and click add view, viewpoint, you can see it gets added here. Now let's go to that view dashboard of the viewpoint. You can see there's nothing in here yet, but you can see that I actually have this viewpoint that's used in these two plans. So I've got that this viewpoint of innovation is in my corporate strategic plan and my company strategic plan. And I can click this little down arrow here and I could see all of the goals inside of that inside of that uh, particular viewpoint uh, in both in both plans. I don't have anything in company strategic plan yet because I just created it. The other thing you could do is there'll be all this other all these other statistics here. You can get an idea of how the viewpoint is used across all of the plans in your in your organization so it's a really powerful tool to get a summary of how your focus areas are doing across your organization so going back to here now you see the 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 the, the viewpoints and like i said we can start putting goals into each one of these viewpoints based on how we want to start collecting those goals so let's just say in this financial in this financial uh, viewpoint, we want to add a goal. We'll go ahead and hover over it. We'll click on this little plus sign that pops up and we'll click there and up will come this little box. Click on add new goal. And now I can add a new goal to my financial. Now you can see the goal was added. We'll get into how do you add success criteria and such later, but let's just go through how we can add different kinds of success criteria and different kinds of goals to different perspectives or different viewpoints. So we've got a goal in here. We can add another goal if we wanted to, uh, like this. And you can do it all right from the, the screen here. You never leave the screen. I'm adding these goals as we go along. If I wanna move them around, I can click on sort and I can go ahead and move these goals around however I feel I want. I'll get cancel, we'll go back to normal. So now I've got a couple of goals in here. And again, we'll, we'll do the tracking and such later in another video. But right now, let's go ahead and add some success criteria to the goal. I wanna add KPIs, I wanna add actions, I wanna add projects, different kinds of things 
based on what I'm trying to do. So I click again, I hover over the goal, click on the pop sign, plus sign. And now I get this box. Because it's a goal, I can add all of these different entities in here. So I can add another goal. It'll give me a nested goal then. I can add a KPI here, a project. I can even add an existing goal. And this gets into sharing and linking that we'll cover in another video. Or I can add an action. The first thing you usually want to do is let's add a KPI. Let's say it's some sort of measure. You could see I could do it right from the screen. And now we've got this little indentation here. This means that this new goal that I just created, I am now embedding criteria, success criteria within the goal. And, and all of this now is becoming part of the container of the goal. So I can add my KPI here and click save the same way I just, I just did everything else. Again, this is saying, hey, I have to add tracking to this KPI. We'll do this in another video. And I can do the same thing with actions. I can add a, an action here, action one. Again, I could do this so quickly. It just keeps going as fast as you can type. Project A, and now in Project A, the cool thing about Project A is I can now add more actions here. So I typically would use a project if I wanted to add more actions, more than one typically, to, to be encapsulated by a particular project. So you want to group your actions here, and you could do that right from here without even leaving this screen. So now you've got a couple actions and a project. You can minimize this, give you a little bit more real estate. And I can even embed new, I can embed a new goal here. And you can see this little icon now is changed. It's still a goal, but it's got a little, a little arrow in it. This means that it's now a nested goal where this, this icon here indicates this is a master goal. So let's just say nested goal here. And now this goal becomes, um, becomes embedded within the new goal as part of its container. So I've got all of these all of these guys here. I can go ahead and delete them if I wanted. I can sort this here within here. I can move these things around as well. So th there's all sorts of things that you can do here uh, as you get into um, creating goals, projects, and actions and KPIs for each of these each of these perspectives. The other thing you could do here, and we'll cover this in other videos, we've got a timeline view here where you can start seeing the timeline of everything that you're creating. Uh, you can also see an alignment map, which incorporates everything. And we will go over alignment map in another video as well. But all of this is what you could get from the planning, uh, strategic plan page in Stratify Pro. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where we'll get into working on the um, tracking and adding success criteria and such for goals and KPIs and such. Thank you for, thank you for attending this short video and I look forward to seeing you again.